Well, hello there. Me and Sarge would like to welcome you to Conversational Shaving. Isn't that right, Sarge? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's a sweet kitty. I'll put him down and, uh, Sarge, if you want out, you can go. There you go. I think I scared him. I didn't mean to. Uh, this is like take three of me trying to start this video up. But, uh, anyway, um, I've already prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. And as you might see, my face is pretty red. I've been uh, working out in the sun. I was, uh, trimming some bushes yesterday and today I was cutting this dead wood out of them. Uh, so they still don't look right, but they look a lot better than they did, or so I'm told. Anyway, um, let's see, my razor is going to be this. It is the, uh, oh, I have the box over here, the Rockwell 2C razor. It only came with one plate. On one side is the R1, the other side is the R3. I'm using the more aggressive R3, which is Oh, it's still mild because I've got a feather blade in there and the, well, the thing fell out of the tuck. I'm sorry. Here's the little card. Nothing's going right now. Uh, there's the card from the tuck. It'll be a feather blade on its uh, third, third use here. So let me put that. I'm kind of uh, OCD about these things. So I Put that little card back in the tuck, and there's the tuck with the card in it. Okay, oh boy, let's see. I'll just set this over here. I'll set the box back over here. Hi there, how you doing? And uh, my shaving cream today is going to be this from Serbia. It is the Brion Sensitive Cream. I may have used that on camera once before a long time ago. And I've lathered that uh, with the conversational shaving synthetic brush with the G4 knot. I believe it's available now with a G5 knot from Frank Shaving. And I've lathered in the Sterling collapsible shaving bowl. So let me try to get a lather started on my face and I hope you're all doing well out there this week and always. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just kind of painted on here. Yeah, my my face is uh, pretty red, isn't it? It gets red anyway, but I got really sunburned. It doesn't hurt. It's just kind of annoying. It makes me appreciate a good breeze when one comes along, and uh, we may we may get some rain tonight, but I'm not sure about that. We need it pretty badly. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. Let me go ahead and wet the razor and get started here. Okay, this will be pass number one with the grain. I think I got some of the cat's hair in my mouth. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we go. About two days worth of growth. And I am hearing that audio feedback. Go over to this side and I'll flip the razor over. I need a haircut too. <clears throat> I was tempted to just shave my head. I've done that before, never on camera, but if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you might have seen me once or twice with a shaved head. I don't usually let my here, get this out of control, if you want to call it that. Quick rinse of the razor and I'll go back to what I was doing here. Very nice. Flip the razor over again.
despite having the sunburn the face, I'm enjoying the shave. Very nice. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Did I not get this or did it dissipate a little bit? Maybe it wasn't the best lather I made. I made it rather hurriedly, as I sometimes do for these uh, for these videos. When I'm shaving without doing a video, I usually take my dear sweet time about it. Well, I gotta quit going over the same spots over and over. It's supposed to be just a long stroke. But do whatever works for you, because I do. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse the razor and I'll relather off camera for a second pass, which will be across the grain. Incidentally, I wanted to say I'm sorry I didn't do a video this last weekend. I'm doing a video uh, at a time and a day I don't usually do a video. We'll go across the grain now. Uh, last week, or last weekend, I should say, when I usually do my video shave, I was just exhausted. And uh, I don't think I was sick, although I had been sick earlier in the week last week. I'm sorry to say, but I, uh, well, let me rinse this razor. <laughs> Anyway, I was just, by the weekend, I was just exhausted. I don't remember what I was doing. Maybe I was exhausted from being ill earlier in the week. <clears throat> I'm fairly certain it wasn't COVID or anything like that, unless, unless there was a form of COVID that can go straight to your stomach and bypass the sinuses of the lungs and all that. If so, I've had that a lot. Well, whatever, whatever it is. Stomach flu that goes around here? I'm not sure. Yeah, this uh, razor rinses so quickly and so easily. I Probably just keep the rinsing in the video. I, sometimes I cut it out. If it's taking me a long time to get gunk or whatever out of the razor to rinse it properly. Okay, let me flip the razor and do this other side here. Okay, well that was quick. I'll be right back with the third pass against the grain. There's a very pleasant light scent to this cream. Um, almost a soapy scent, but a little, kind of a sweet, sweet smelling soapy scent, if that makes sense. Very pleasant and uh, very nice shave so far, even though I do tend to rush things sometimes. I'm just trying to be timely as far as not to run over half an hour doing a video. <clears throat> Excuse me, against the grain. I'll start on my neck this time. The feather blade is feeling very nice on its third use. Flip the razor and go over here. Okay, I'll rinse again. 
Very nice, very nice. A little bit of irritation over here, you know, I felt. Well, I know I'm sunburned and all that, but uh, anyway. Might have been a little bit too heavy handed with the razor. I get real excited because when I feel like doing a traditional shave, I'm not saying I'm the best at it or maybe I'm not even that good at it, my technique and all, but boy is it, you know, when I feel like doing a traditional shave, when I'm not in a big hurry, you know, not one of those days where you got to get out the door and you just maybe take a disposable and some goo in a can and just one pass and get yourself passable to meet the day or whatever, or if you're not feeling well or whatever, but, uh, but I still love this hobby. I do have other hobbies. Excuse me. But this is, I did get a little weeper that right there, but nothing to worry about, I guess. I do wish I had one of the versions of this razor that comes with, what is it, three plates, each one you can flip so you have like six, it's like having six different base plates. This is just like having two. And this is the razor with the gun metal finish, which is kind of nice. It's held up very well. I could buy the two plates I'm missing separately, but I don't know if they come, I don't know if they have them available in the gun metal finish. Not that that would necessarily matter. It's just a cosmetic thing. Okay, well, that's not so bad. At least it don't feel too bad. So I'll be right back and then it'll be pickup time. Hi. Uh, Sarge is here again, and uh, what time is it, Sarge? It's pickup time. There's a magical clock over there. See, Sarge? Uh, over, over there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sarge. Uh, love you. I'll let you back out. He's purring, though. He's really a purring. I don't know if you can hear that. Do you want out, Sarge? Yeah, he didn't want to hang out in here. He don't like closed doors and things like that. But uh, here we go, pickup time. Maybe that thing with the cat and the clock and all that, maybe that's kind of corny, but I know some people like the cat. I'm trying to get so I don't hear any more audio feedback. Okay, flip the razor over. Still feels good, as long as I remember not to be too aggressive with the razor and <clears throat> let it do most of the work. It's a pretty heavy razor. Pretty solid metal razor. Let me rinse the razor and just go over my face one more time. Okay, still got that little weeper up there. Yeah, for general everyday use, 
I probably need the uh, base plate that has the the aggression that's just one above this R4 or whatever it's called. I don't know if I could use a feather with that base plate, a feather blade, but uh, let's see how I'm doing here. No, not too bad, but this trouble spot over here is quite the trouble spot this time. I've tried using the R1 setting for pickups or touch-ups, which is the flip side of this blade, I mean, the, of this base plate, but it's so mild, it doesn't seem like it takes any hair off my face or, or my neck. It was just down here on my... No, that's feeling better now. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. You know, I probably look kind of strange. Some of my technique here, but I'm trying to get... I'm trying to gild the lily, I guess. I just want to get this a little smoother. Such a, it's a nice mild setting on this base plate, but uh, maybe just a little bit too mild for me. Well, that's it. I'm done shaving. And uh, I'm going to rinse the razor, rinse the brush, the bowl, and my face. I'll be right back with our good friend, Mr. Tao. Here he is. You know him. You love him. You can't live without him. It's our good friend, Mr. Tao. Mr. Tao here. Oh. oh, nice, nice, nice. And after his most recent washing, Mr. Tao is a lot fluffier this week than he was last time. Something made Mr. Tao scratchy last time I washed him. I'm not sure why. Well, I used name brand dryer sheets that were supposed to have fabric softener in them, I think, but they weren't the ones I usually use. So, went back to what I what I normally use for dryer sheets and Mr. Tao feels great. Thank you, and you're welcome. <clears throat> Mr. Tao, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, brother. <sighs> I need to get a life. Okay. Well, I'll do, I'll start a brief recap, then I'll put the finishing touches on the shave here. Off camera, before I started, I prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. And... My razor has been this Rockwell 2C razor. I used the R3 base plate, and in there, on its third use, was a feather blade. Very nice, and pretty mild setting on that razor. Oops. Oh, brother. What is it with me today? Okay. And uh, my cream has been this from Serbia, the Breon Sensitive Cream. Very nice. And, oh, let's see here. Did I forget anything? Well, and I lathered with the conversational shaving brush, uh, the synthetic G4 knot on this one, although I believe the G5 is available on these, the newer model. And uh, this is from Frank Shaving. Very nice. And I lathered in the Sterling Collapsible Shaving Bowl. All right. I believe I've covered everything so far, so my next uh, magic trick is I'm going to apply some of the Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel, which I've been using a lot lately. Very nice stuff. Yeah. It's a toner, not an astringent. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. 
Oh yeah. Has a nice mild lavender scent. Which goes with a lot of things. But it's a scent that fades quickly and doesn't really interfere with with other scents if they are relatively strong. Okay, once again, that's the Sayers Lavender Witch Hazel. And moving on, my aftershave. This is supposed to be sensitive. It's the Breon Sensitive Aftershave that goes with the cream. But I, it has a lot of alcohol in it, so you might hear me scream. I don't know. It's been a while since I've used this, but I'll get some going in my hands here. Oh, lovely scent. A little bit of an alcohol scent, though, but minus that, it's a lovely scent that goes. It matches the cream. So up behind the ears, let's see, on the temples, back of the neck a little bit, and... Oh yeah, I'm feeling the burn, the sting from that. Not too bad, though. One time I really shaved closely or overshaved or something. More than once I've done that, but I mean, using this aftershave that goes with the cream, it, it was <laughs> pretty, there was quite a lot of sting, as I recall. But anyway, that's the Breon Sensitive Aftershave. And one more thing, and then I'll let you go here. Thank you if you've followed this so far. The Nivea Men uh, Sensitive Cooling Aftershave Balm. They also make just the sensitive that's not cooling, I guess, but this has sort of a menthol effect. Oh, that's more than I needed. I got some in my hand there. Don't need much of this. Let's see if I can keep that in my hand while I recap this bottle and show it to you again. The, Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Aftershave Balm. And, oops. Okay, get that going in the hand here. I forgot to put a little bit of the shaving cream, or not cream, the aftershave on my wrists as I sometimes do, or usually do. Now this feels nice, and as you leave it go on your face, it will begin to have a cooling effect. It doesn't seem as cool as it normally does. I don't think it's gone bad or anything. Of course, I've got sunburn too. Oh, that's great. It's nice. Well, sorry about the red face, but my face gets red if I just bend over to pick something up. So, that's it. Thank you for joining me from me and Sarge and Mr. Tao. Have a great week ahead of you. I don't know if I'll do a video this weekend or not on my usual uh, night or day or whatever it is where you are. But thank you. Peace out and take care of yourselves and one another.